miracles would begin to happen and you would have certain manifestations of demons. Other times, you find that devil, he's trying to play some game because he say, ow, and he say, Greetings to you, my dearest family. Welcome again to Direct TV, bringing to you the truth with Brother Joshua. And just in case you have come again to, you know, corrupt the comment section, I'll kindly like you to know that is not good. And you shouldn't come and be telling me that, um, you know, I'm talking too long in my own video and channel. I understand. But I've explained in my previous video, just kindly watch them. You will understand too. So, um, right into this video, I believe many of you might have watched this, um, prophet Emmanuel Makandewa's video where he spoke about the Manu Gorodin Dr. Chris and the healing ministry and you know during the uh, your love session pastor actually spoke about you know things like that but I would love us to actually um, you know listen first to you know what the man of God prophet Emmanuel Makandewa did say about pastor Chris again kindly watch i know you have watched before and then i'll be right back with what pastor Chris said watch this i'll be right back don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe when I started ministering to the sick, like doing the healing sessions, yes, <laughs> so you think it was a, a revelation that I got from the Lord praying in the mountain and God appeared and said, go and do healing sessions. No. It wasn't, if it was a vision, that vision was television. <laughs> and Pastor Chris, he would come in and minister to the sick. And I watched the sick recover. Is it because I wasn't healing the sick? It was a healing without style. Okay. <laughs> Look at this analysis. I was looking at him when he started. being visible he had it already made up in his mind that there is a style that he wanted sustained throughout his ministry pastors focus on me on this one it's important I could see there are times when, right at the beginning, you'd call upon the name of Jesus and miracles would begin to happen and you would have certain manifestations of demons. I was observing. Demons which would want to manifest in a certain style. And I was watching. I would look at the woman rolling on the floor, some even attempting to vomit, and then I would look at him, and I could see the discomfort. And the Lord would speak to me, see what is happening. He is trying to establish a style, his own style of deliverance away from what has been seen before he doesn't like it people vomiting it's not deliverance that he doesn't like it is this time ah no i want only people to follow this wow only people to follow this i said you can never escape mantles if you're ever going to read the bible you are reading another man's work what is happening? Why is he not at peace with that kind of a manifestation? He doesn't want it registered. The moment he accepts that, it will run throughout his entire ministry. 
that manifestation is going to be sustained forever. Mm. So he would sort of resist it. It's, it's not something that you can see physically. You have to be a spirit to see that. He wants that person free. You would quickly walk to the person and say, you are free, you are free. And yet, if you are used to a different style, you are saying, ah, the, the deliverance was just starting here. Mm. 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 He doesn't like people observing that kind of a manifestation for too long, lest it becomes a style. Mm. 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 I'm looking and I'm asking the Lord, and what is wrong with that? And I'm being told he wants to sustain a style, the Jesus style. Meeting with disciples who were not yet born again. Mm. But they never rode on the ground. They never vomited. Mm. Yet they got delivered. So I'm observing he's aiming a certain level of deliverance. A different style. Mm. So I'm observing. I'm learning. I'm seeing. I see. Like you guys, when you come to church, you are not seeing anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my dearest family, there you have it with Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa. So, um, the man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris, during your Love of program, you know, he equally touched on this when he was sharing something about righteousness. So, you got to listen to this. You will be so, so, so inspired. And just to kindly let you know that you should hit the subscribe button and follow me. Watch this. I'll be right back. They saw it only once. When he came into the council, the Bible says his face was like that of an angel. This glory is inside you, the Bible says. And every time you pray in tongues, you pray in tongues, not the brief uh, little praying in tongues you do. Uh -uh. When you pray in tongues, in, uh, uh, let me explain this to you so that you you learn to give yourself to prayer there is the speaking of the lips because the language is already on your lips just like any other language you have language on your lips you can speak you can say words which you don't mean inside So God said, they praise me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Do you realize you can do the same thing with, your, with speaking in tongues? Because the utterance has been given you by the Holy Ghost. And you pick up that utterance and then you make it the lip work. Lip service. Yeah? But your spirit is not being charged. Your spirit is not being stared. Why? Because you're not giving attention to it. So you make it a lip thing. Like some even, why they're joking with themselves, they speak in tongues. See it? But no, it can be deeper than that. It can be deeper than that. It can be more real than that. See? First, by being reverent. By being reverent. Be reverent when you speak in tongues. Be reverent. Be reverent. Then, secondly, yield yourself. When you do, the currents that you will experience, the currents of power from your spirit through your physical body will be almost immediate. The surge of power. You do this frequently, you will always be healthy. You do this frequently. Because God's plan is that this will bring you health. The Holy Ghost parambulates your body. But until you do this, 
How can you experience those blessings and benefits? It's just like that engine you rev. <laughs> so you can do your revving when you're speaking in tongues. <laughs> Like when a fear ever attacked you, fear. You don't go, I get you. No, 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 no. Because fear likes to intimidate. You frighten the devil out. Yes, sir. They try to oppress you, make you afraid. Release powerful tongues with boldness. There's a time to shout. What do you think, what did Jesus do when he got to the grave of Lazarus? The Bible says he shouted, Lazarus! He didn't say, Lassie? Lassie? Time to come out. No, oh, there's a time for everything. He shouted. And the Bible says, he that was dead came forth. Yes. There's a time. Oh, when I'm casting out devils, there's sometimes, you know, I just, I, I may not even say anything. The devil understands. When I look at him, he understands. Uh, it's like, don't say anything. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I just look at him. Okay, he knows. So he's gone. Sometimes I just maybe say something under my voice. Even if you're standing close to me, you might have not heard me. And the devil understands, he just checks out. But sometimes I say, ow! And before I'm done with that, he's, he's, he's gone. And some other times you find that devil, he's trying to play some game and I'm, I'm not ready for game. Not ready for game. And then he gets it. No games. Because you say, ow! And he said, yeah, it's trying to negotiate. It's trying to, I'm not going, I'm not going, I'm not going. And then I'm like, you think I'm joking? <laughs> <laughs> then he gets it. Yes, sir. And he's out of there. Yes, sir. Remember, the Lord gave us his name. If you have respect for that name, the whole spirit world will respect you. Yes, sir. If you have respect for that name, they'll respect you. If you have no respect for that name, they can't respect you. Cultivate a respect for the name of Jesus. Understand it and respect it. There you have it, my dear rest family. You know, I was just thinking that this video will so inspire you. And I know you were inspired. Now you have learned something about speaking in other tongues. If you have been feeling fearful, timid, you know, you know what to do. You know how to stir up that, um, you know, um, spirit within you you see and now you have learned something about healing too you see and why you should respect the name of jesus if you want to you know use the power in it all right so let me know um, what has blessed you in the comment section share with me your wonderful testimonies and your wonderful uh, you know thoughts after watching this video you see this will inspire some other persons that will read your comments you know don't just come and start uh you know corrupting the comment section with, with one hate speech and whatever you have in your mind okay so you should learn how to you know share things that will inspire some other person that will read your comments thank you so much guys and i look forward to see you in my next video but before you go for those of you coming very newly to my channel hit the subscribe button subscribe to this channel and like today's video guys i will see you in my next video bye